Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Boy Gripper Rip back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a top set that was released that nobody knew was coming out right now. So before we get into that, I want to give a big shout out to every single one of you guys who have watched this past week. Thanks to the Topps Chrome controversy, my channel thrived, you know, because I like to keep it real here, you know, so people decided to watch me and I had a lot of new people subscribed and everything like that. So I just wanted to big, uh, give a big thank you to everyone who is new, old, been watching, just recently subscribed, you know, things like that. It means a lot to me. Um, this is my job. Uh, you guys may not believe that, but this is my, my real job. I have a uh, gaming channel where I play Call of Duty and stuff that has 15,000 subscribers as well. So, you know, with these two channels mixed into one, that this is my job. So I'm not here if it's not for you guys, you know. So keep watching, keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing. And just because I don't respond to your comment doesn't mean I read it because I literally read every single comment uh, anyone ever comments. So with that being said, let's get into some news. Um... Regarding that, this is a big release week. Um, with this release we're talking about here, there's also two other ones. There is Panini Prism Baseball and Pro Debut. I believe Prism comes out on Wednesday, and I know for a fact that Pro Debut comes out on Friday. But what we're going to talk about here is a set that is exclusive to retail that typically doesn't come out until November or December in most years, and people have spotted it at retail. What are we talking about? Topps Gallery. If you guys don't know what Topps Gallery is, I have a sealed blaster from last year right here. It is a Walmart exclusive um, brand. You can only find it at Walmart. And maybe Tops.com. I don't know if Tops ever sold these on their website, but they're exclusive to Walmart. And what it is is just a artsy card with you know artsy looking designs on it, as you see here. I don't know if I have any cards from last year right here with me at the moment. I'm looking. I don't think I do. But needless to say, you guys understand probably what the set looks like. Um, I tried to look at the checklist, um, but here's the funny thing: there is no checklist at all right now um for this release i went on to ebay and tried to see some of the cards potentially in the set because i would like to think that you know people like say suzuki julio rodriguez jeremy pena bobby witt spencer torkelson uh hunter green cj abrams o'neill cruz wander franco and people like that would be in this set. But as of right now, they're recording this video now. There could be more uploaded to eBay by tomorrow. Um, I just seen a Josh Lowe base, the rookie for the um, uh, Tampa Bay Rays. He has a insert card. It's called Next Wave or something like that. Looks pretty cool with the the blue jersey and the wave in the background. But um, yeah, I would assume those guys are in the checklist i wanted to do a top five most valuable but like i said it, as of right now um i don't know if this set was supposed to release now but people are finding it at their local walmarts um bryce harper if you in case you didn't know bryce harper is on the front of the blaster and there is going to be a mega which gives you two autos um that hasn't been seen yet. Only the blasters. The mega boxes for that product typically release a couple weeks later. So in about the same time around when update comes out, probably you'll see those hitting the shelves. So in today's video, I'm going to speculate as to why this set came out now. And it's a very simple and easy concept. So what I believe, and this is probably somewhat accurate, I think... Um, Tops seen how there was going to be no new retail presentation on the shelves for a while. Therefore, they released Fire for Target and Gallery um, right now. Like, like I said, Tops Fire typically um, comes out like right about now. And it came out a couple weeks ago. 
And for Gallery, Gallery you typically don't see uh, until about early November, uh, sometimes maybe late October. But the last couple of years, it came out in December. So, you know, it's usually around Christmas time is when they put out that stuff. So now I'm wondering, will we see Topps Holiday come out sooner rather than later? Because right after Gallery is typically Holiday. And Holiday usually comes out around Thanksgiving uh, weekend. That's when I found it. That's when, like, I believe they started doing Holiday, I think, in 2017 again. I could be completely wrong about that. But I remember um, going shopping at Walmart after Thanksgiving, and I remember seeing it on the shelf. So, I, you know, and I remember a couple years after when my aunt worked at um, Walmart on Thanksgiving Day one time, um, she brought me home a box of Holiday. But, you know, it's very interesting um, that this set came out early because I really do believe top saw how there were no new cards on the shelf like in my example perfect example in my area if you guys watched my short there is a bunch of products on the shelf right but here's the problem they're all from a while ago up until recently with tops chrome uh bowman got restocked that nobody in my area is touching by the way it's just sitting on the shelf uh series two heritage for some reason is still being stocked and Gypsy Queen. Basically, all of the retail sets except Series 1 that I can think of off the top of my head are being restocked at Walmart. I'm just looking at my stuff right now I have product-wise. And yeah, it looks like everything is being stocked except Series 1, which I don't think Series 1. I I really hope Tops don't have any Series 1 blasters left over, but I have a feeling they're, they're out there somewhere. Um, but, you know, this, I think, call me crazy, but... I think this decision to release Gallery early has something to do with Chrome. See, Chrome, I think, was supposed to be delayed even longer. And Top said, okay, we have to release something quick here because our quarterly earnings, uh, you know, probably, because I think, what is it? Yeah, the uh, quarterly earnings here are about to uh, expire here. The September is the end of quarter three. And they probably said to themselves, well... If Chrome's not going to release in quarter three, which it eventually inevitably did, we have to release some product to booster those, you know, those profits. And that's why we're seeing, you know, a gallery and a fire right now as to opposed to maybe in October, November, and even into December. See, I don't think Tops had any intention on releasing Chrome this early. So there is a lot of things to dig into. You know, it's, it's a lot of tinfoil theory stuff, but... When you think about it in the long distance, you know, deep, you really start to, the, 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 the pieces really start to fit into the puzzle, if you guys know what I mean here. Um, so, yeah, I think Gallery was just, I guess, released early. Um, I don't know if it's on top or uh, Walmart's website yet. I, I highly doubt it. Like, I literally just seen the first image of an in-hand blaster today. I highly, highly doubt it's on Walmart's website yet. Whenever they put new card product on there, I think it's, what, Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon or something? I don't know. Whenever they do it, you'll probably see it this week. So, you know, keep an eye out for that if you want to, you know, buy yourself a blaster. Um, depending on the checklist, I mean, I'm probably going to buy a blaster just to see what they are. Um, I saw some guy had a Spencer Strider autograph on eBay, which are sticker autos, by the way, in case you guys didn't know, like previous years. Um, I did see someone pulled a Strider autograph, so he's in this seemingly is a base card in an autograph. I would have to assume all the key rookies are in there because this tip, this set typically doesn't release until after update, and there's going to be a lot of rookies in update, so I would have to assume that um, all the key rookies you would want as like in, in Fire, for example, would be in this release as well. So, you know, I would probably grab a box or two. I'm probably going to lean more towards the mega boxes. You know, last year they are $80. This year, I don't even know. How, I, I don't even want to know what top is going to price those at. Probably, honestly, probably close to $100. Um, if it keeps on the track with everything and how, you know, the prices have gone up with sports cards, uh, I would assume $95 to $100 maybe. I don't know. $90 minimum. But let's just keep it at that. But, you know, and another thing we have to look out for this week, in case you guys want to buy one. I don't know if you want to buy one or not. But um, this week, there are going to be um, Chrome Mega Boxes. 
for seventy five dollars. Uh, I I really don't think I would buy one. Um, until maybe someone pulls a short print out of one, maybe. But again, like here's how I look at it. Right, you have this week two really good affordable releases. We're gonna talk about this a little more uh, later in the week with um, Pro Debut and Prism. You get three autos for one fifty in in Prism, and you get four autos. You heard that right, four autos in Pro Debut for seventy dollars. Like that is the best you're gonna get. And I like Pro Debut. That's kind of biased because last year I opened my first Pro Debut box. And pulled a, where's it at here? A Riley Green Auto. It is right here in this one touch. I'll put it right there. I did pull that out of the box. That was by far the best auto. I don't remember the other three I pulled. But, you know, I kind of have a little bit of bias towards it. But um, I would gravitate towards Pro Debut, honestly. Or Panini Prism Baseball, if you want. I mean, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. But I definitely am going to buy a Pro Debut box. That is right up my alley. I think my LCS guy uh, is going to have them. Um, probably cheaper than most places because that's what he typically does. Uh, so we will see. But we're going to get into this pack of Chrome uh, Platinum. Um, I think I have like three packs after this left. So we're winding down on this box. And this box is actually fairly good to us. I cannot complain at all for this box. So... Here we go. Let's open the pack here. We got Cattell Marte on the top. We got Jonathan. No idea how to pronounce that last name. We got Babe Ruth. There's a good card. I'll gladly take that. I am a Yankees fan. In case you guys didn't know, I'm a Pirates and Yankees fan, so that actually will work. And we got Luis Garcia. So he's a position player, at least, so that'll do. So, guys, that is it for this video. Let me guys uh, let me let me know what you think about 2022 Tops Gallery. I don't know if it's officially released yet, but some vendor somewhere made a big whoopsie, if not, because there are pictures surfacing of blasters on, like, Facebook groups. That's where I saw the picture anyways. And people are listing cards of the set on eBay. So I would like to think they're out now. If not this Friday, I have no idea. But keep an eye out in case you want to grab a box or two, and I'll see you guys in the next one.